Lads, what's the crack? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to 2023, happy new year, yeah? With the month that's in it, everyone turning into a dry January wanker, I said I'd hit the off license and see which is the best non-alcoholic beer slash stout slash cider option. This week lads, keeping the lights on at Guru HQ is Manscaped. New year, new balls. To quote Manscaped, the ball has officially dropped, but well, it doesn't mean you have to drop the ball on your balls in 2023. They're good. Manscaped are the global leaders in below the waist grooming. So if you got a bit lazy over Christmas, there's a bit of deforestation to be done downstairs, Manscaped is your only man. The Performance Package 4.0 is all you need to keep them balls fresh and clean. So fresh and so clean. You've got the GOAT, the greatest of all time, the Lawnmower 4.0. It's got the advanced skin safe technology, greatly reduces the chances of nicking your balls. That would not be a good start to the new year. And no grooming routine is complete without the Crop Preserver and the Crop Reviver. It all comes in the shed, which is a very handy little travel wash bag. And Manscaped have recently launched shower products such as an ultra premium body wash, a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, and body deodorant. We all need deodorant. So go to manscaped.com, use my code PINTS20 to get 20% off plus free shipping. Now for my sins, let's test out these non-alcoholic beverages right first up it had to be first guinness zero zero i've tried it before i've given my thoughts on it before I mean, let's be totally honest lads this video could be a bit of a shit show because it's obviously the guinness guru there's only non-alcoholic stout that i could find and then some of the other things i'm going to try in the video i wouldn't even drink the alcoholic version so what kind of video is this it's a bit of a bloody laugh that's what it is and let's just see, are any of these worth drinking? Or are they all allowed a cod swallop? He's a cod. So we better take this seriously because I have tried this before. I've done blind taste tests, I've done, but I've never actually just sat down. I've tried it in a pub, but I've never actually just sat down and drank it and given my opinion. Candid, guys. Flipping candid. Didn't spill, that's a good start. We all know what these feckin' Guinness cans can be like. No two par pour, straight in, no kissing. By the way, like, Guinness guru in my ass because I really don't take care. Well, I'll be honest, I still make these videos in Mama Guru's house because I've got the background. I have moved out. I'm a big boy. But um, no shade, no offense to Mama Guru. But like, I wouldn't even clean the glasses properly in my own gaff, to be honest. But yeah, it's just something, it's it, it, the whole glassware thing only ever comes to mind when I've poured them. And I'm like, geez, I should really clean the glasses properly. Like they go in the dishwasher, but obviously look, you can see the, the bit of shy. If I got that in a pub, I wouldn't be happy. You know what lads, I had a couple of cans of Guinness over Christmas and I was getting a massive head. I usually get the big head when uh, you were good to the missus. <laughs> Stop, serious business. Um, usually get the big head when the cans are warm. This has been in the fridge for 24 hours. It's quite cold. So like, again, I don't know. A lot of bubbles in the head as well. Wonder can you see that? You might be able to see if I zoom in. Yeah, we'll see, who knows. But yeah, it doesn't look great now, but again, it's down to my glass, but also very bubbly. Slide yeah. Must be mad just going off the beer totally and just going full on sober. Sure, listen, shut up and drink it. Slant your lads. <laughs> yeah, it's just bringing back the exact same memories that I remember from before. I can imagine if you don't drink and you are a fan of stout, like this is your bread and butter, your go-to. But as someone who drinks as much pints as I do, and I'm drinking them kind of consistently, like, all I, all I can taste is the emptiness and the lacking, instead of tasting what's actually nice about it. It's not horrendous. I mean, it's definitely not horrendous. My whole thing is always like, like I'm not someone who doesn't drink, because a lot of these are, you know, they're kind of made for people who don't drink. 
uh, people who are pregnant or whatever fucking reason you have for not drinking. I've never really been one of those types of people. Like I, I can, I often go and just have like a couple of pints somewhere. But let's just say I'm going to someone's gaff. I'm driving. Would I drink a few of them? I'd drink two or three of them. Yeah, I probably would. Just instead of sitting there drinking water like a plonker. So yeah, if you're trying to get through dry January, even there is even a fucking aftertaste as well. Like it obviously is just the, the, the alcohol that's gone, but it's definitely not as thick, rich, creamy, but it's all right. Like it's all right. You get it down, you. I would recommend it. It's all right. I, I know I haven't been too um, complimentary about it in the past, but that's always just comparing it to regular Guinness. But this whole video is just like, what to drink if you're doing dry January, apart from water and fucking soda. Yeah, let's say on the non-alcoholic scale, I'll give it like a seven and a half out of 10. Grand, you'd get it down, yeah. You'd be wishing it was the real stuff, but that's always gonna be the case. So yeah, not bad in my book. Okay, next up, Heineken Zero. For me, I know there's been non-alcoholic beers for years, I think, but for me, Heineken was kind of the front runner. I'm gonna say maybe around 2018. Did they bring this out? Um, and then all the sort of other large companies followed. Jesus, some whiff off it even when you open it. This is why this video is just downright silly and stupid and nonsensical because I don't like Heineken. So how, why would I like the fucking non-alcoholic version? Like what am I gonna give it out of 10? Do you know what I mean? So, stupid video, but we gotta keep the content rolling lads. And if you're doing dry January, well, I'm, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm not doing it. So I've got videos to make. But sure, if you're doing dry January, something to watch, and at least you're not watching the normal videos, gagging for a point, you'd be gagging for this, shit. Right, I just think Heineken, Stinks like it. it just stinks. Christ, such a whiff. I suppose the whole idea is the whole idea of the video to figure out how far off the regular stuff it is. No, because like I said, I don't like the regular Heineken. Also, I didn't bother getting a glass because you're gonna drink this out of a bottle, aren't you? Uh, it's not too disgusting, initially. Um, yeah, I keep saying, the whole idea of this video, look, shut up and drink it and just fucking say something about it. It's also funny because I usually have to be, because I don't live here anymore, I have to be tactical about doing the the videos here when I am drinking. And I'm always like, oh, can't drive or I might stay over. I can drive right after this. That's the beauty of it. I mean, that doesn't really taste like much. It, it doesn't taste near as strong as it smells. When you open it, it's like. <laughs> Getting a bit stronger now, but I could suck down a couple of them. I mean, for me, again, I'm not an experienced non-alcoholic alcohol drinker. Like I just, Non-alcoholic alcohol drinker. What are you smoking, lad? Non-alcoholic drinker. I don't fucking know. So all my mind just goes to like, could I swally? Could I swally a couple of these if I was going somewhere and I had to drive? Like, and I just wanted something that was better than water or a fucking Coca-Cola. Not bad. I thought it'd be worse. It's refreshing, but there is. The more you drink it, there's definitely a twang. But to be honest, I, I would get that with a regular Heineken anyway. So like, I don't, I'm never gonna have much great stuff to say about a Heineken, but fairly all right. Like, could definitely have a bottle, could definitely have one or two, quite a twang off of it, but you get that off the regular Heineken. So I can't imagine it's that much different than a regular Heineken. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments if it is, if you're a high now head, a few sticks of high now might with the lads, right? This is fine, six out of 10, I could have a couple. All right, another moment of sacrilege. Sacrilege, sacrilegion. What the feck ever they say. Bulmer 00, I have tried, I think I've tried most of these before. Bulmer 00, uh, I'd be partial to a Bulmer's on a scorching hot day. 
as much as the next man, you know, but I wouldn't, by no means would it be a go-to. I couldn't drink more than one or two pints, of, even a pint of Bulmers, you get that guy. I used to, I used to drink it years ago, and you'd be, Whoop. you get, like, you'd be drinking it all day, then you get to the nightclub around 11, 12, and you'd be gassy. Whoop. Let's continue this pointless, silly video. It's a silly pointless exercise. It doesn't smell anywhere near as appley. Am I mad? Is there like no smell after that? I know it's like that fucking um, other shite orchard thieves that smells way stronger and tastes way stronger. But anyway, bottoms up. Look, look, look. look. I can't even. What am I? What am I even trying to do here? Because I'm like. Does it taste like regular boomers? I don't know, I haven't had one in yonks. That's all right, that's like, it's literally just probably like the exact same stuff as Sidona. If you live outside of Ireland and didn't grow up in Ireland, Sidona is just fizzy apple juice. Was never mad on it myself. But that's pretty much what this is like. If you grew up drinking Sidona, you moved on to the boomers. That's grand. Always with the bummers leaves that sort of weird dryness on your tongue. I don't know what it is, but that's all right. I could get through a couple of them. Again, I couldn't get through more of them, but see myself more so if I was if it was in the summer. Maybe you're just not drinking for some reason. You're in a beer garden. Sip away on them. You'd be happy out, yeah. And I don't. I don't know what it is about like. I do think that in, going on a tangent here, so skip about two minutes if you want. I do think, like, in a few years, it's going to be way more normal for someone to be drinking a non-alcoholic beer, say, at the pub or on a night out, whatever, because obviously now, like, I think it's even gotten more normal in the last 18 months to a year, whereas before, literally, if someone ordered a non-alcoholic, you'd be like, What's wrong with you? You're on antibiotics, so you're driving. Uh, but I think it'll be more normal for people to drink non-alcoholic stuff, even if they're not off the booze or driving or pregnant or anything like that. I think it'll be more normal to just go on a night out and have a couple of these because the hangovers are so bad when you drink normal alcohol. And I know some lads, I am decent enough at having a few pints and going home, so the hangover pretty much wouldn't be there the next day. I know a lot of lads, and I used to be like that as well, two, three points just turns into fucking mayhem and all night and absolutely dying the next day. So, yeah, I can see a non-alcoholic beer revolution happening. I say that as if it hasn't already happened, like every company is making it, but I don't think they're just making it for the sake of it. Yeah, I do think that they're here to stay. That is actually grand. It literally is. Sidona, but happily given that, eight out of ten. But I could definitely have a few of them. That is grand stuff. The Boomers Guru, huh? Okay, another lager, Beer Moretti. Beer Moretti had an absolute explosion onto the scene in maybe 2019, 2020. <clears throat> Everyone was drinking it. A lot of people still are. But I was quite fond of it myself. Kind of gone off it now. I find it's a little bit too overpowering. <clears throat> Jeez, the burps. You fucking... The boomers and all this, it's all non-alcoholic, but just still, it's not non-burpy. That's so bad, can't put that in, or will I? Yeah, beer and ready, like I said, just out of nowhere, it just became so popular. And I'm not saying it was because of me, but I did do a video in 2020 comparing the two top Italian beers. I had never even heard of beer and ready. I put it up against Peroni, I said beer and ready was way nicer. I said I really, really liked it. And then the beer and ready sales just went, just skyrocketed. So I'm not saying it was because of me, like that video probably has about four views, but that did, but it is a massive coincidence, but it wasn't because of me, but it is a coincidence. Beamer 80 zero. I'll be honest, I've heard this is shy, but I'm gonna try, give my own opinion. This is gonna be a long L video as well, but you already know that because we're near the end. Ooh, smells a bit like soap. Tastes a bit like soap. <clears throat> yeah, it's quite a unique taste in beer, isn't it? It's like so much different than the so much different to the Heineken. I thought Heineken had a twang. This makes Heineken taste like 
Coors Light or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's if you're into it, I'm sure you'll like the zero. Like, a, I definitely don't think that's tastes the same as a regular beer and ready. And I guess the whole point of it is zero alcohol, zero percent alcohol is like, you're just gonna drink in something that's gonna be light and not too many mad tastes and, I don't know, that's just fucking a bit rotten to be honest. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't had a bottle of beer Moretti in ages, but I definitely don't remember it having that much of a whack off of it. I don't even want to drink any more of that. Like, I couldn't even drink a bottle of that. This is too overly flavoured or something for me. I'd give it like a 3 out of 10 in terms of being able to drink another. One more go. Isn't it any good? No, it's real in your face. It stinks. I feel like my breath stinks now after it. Not for me. If you're into beer Moretti, you might like it, but I'm into beer Moretti, but that's just way too, way too much going on. Not for me. Okay, final one, Erdinger, aka Erdinger, as the Joymen say. <laughs> Weissbier. Weissbrau. I don't know what the fuck that, I thought Weissbier meant, <laughs> oh, the burp slides, I'm telling you what. Non alcohol, non burpy, huh? it's still burpy. Huh? So, I have a glass for this one because you can drink, you would drink Moretti, Heineken, and Bomber's out of the bottle, but you wouldn't drink this out of the bottle or the Guinness, obviously. But I have also had this before. I am a big fan of Erdinger. I love one pint of Erdinger when I go for a meal and just have water with my meal because I don't really like drinking beer or any sort of fucking alcohol with food. <sighs> smells a little bit different. Also, I never know how to pour this stuff because people will always give you a shy. Because obviously that head is huge. Hmm. So I know Erdinger as, again, this isn't is this the same as real airding it's just likelihood to drink it when you're doing your dry january nonsense like look at the head on that for fuck's sake but i think that's that's just what Erdinger is it has a massive head so i'm gonna have to wait for it to settle or do i just drink it through the head i don't even know there's little lads screaming going what are you doing you fucking idiot you it's definitely it smells so wheaty 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 like, it is a wheat beer, obviously, but it's really just smells like it's a bottle of wheat. Blade and wheat, a mix in a bottle of what? I'm just going to drink it through the head. Fuck it. It's, it doesn't seem as, like, cloudy and orange as regular Erdinger. It just kind of looks more like a lager. Definitely said it's a big head. I mean, look, what am I doing? The state of it. What am I doing? Ah, here, listen. Last one, lads. Been great, hasn't it? It's on video. This. Mostly head, but got some juice. That's not bad. Quite like the Guinness, it's just not as full and flavoursome as the regular stuff. But it's not a million trillion miles away. Like it's probably a hundred miles away, but it's not a billion miles away. As much as the aesthetic is probably putting you off how awful it looks. Actually tastes all right, yeah. I've had a couple of them before. I remember they're not bad. They're definitely not as good as regular Erdinger. But that's not what we're here to do. This is you're going out, bringing the missus out, whining and dining. You don't want to drink and you want more than tap water. What are you having? Yeah, that's all right, lads. Definitely. Cheeky Erdinger non-alcoholic before a meal. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, probably go seven and a half out of ten in an absolutely wild turn of events. The Bulmers comes out on top, but only because it literally tasted like apple juice. Whereas the rest of them still kind of feel like you are drinking alcohol. So even though the Bulmers was probably the tastiest, it's just because it's sugary. So Bulmers for taste, then Guinness and Erdinger. Yeah, they obviously don't feel like the real thing, but they're, the, but they're not too far off. So realistically, it'd be between the Guinness and the Erdinger. The Heineken was grand, the Beer Moretti was awful. 
overall I would probably stick with the Erdinger because I, I'd imagine if you're drinking a non-alcoholic drink, like if you're drinking pints of Guinness, you're fucking supping through them and it's grand. If you're drinking a non-alcoholic one, you want to take your time with it. You probably want it to last you maybe half an hour. A Guinness, whether it's alcoholic or non-alcoholic, after 10 minutes, especially if it's a pint, it's going to start to go rotten. I'd imagine you could leave the Erdinger there for 20, 30 minutes, sip away at it, it'd be grand. It's a big bottle. So for me, my even though I'd, I gave the Bummer as a better score, but purely because it tastes like apples, I'd probably recommend this one the most. Erdinger alcohol-free fry. Honda Germans.